What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and I'm bringing you a really fast paced gameplay here using the Spectre Extended Mags. Now I got Scavenger, Sleight of Hand, and Marathon, pretty standard setup for me, because as you know at this point, I love shooting my gun, no matter what the no matter what the reason is. So that's why I'm running this gun. The Spectre is way underrated, and I've always sort of liked it from the beginning. Uh, absolutely amazing gun. Drop your 74, you pick up this, put Extended Mags or uh, Rapid Fire on in your set. Uh, or grip, grip and silencer. This gun is just good always. It's hard to make this gun bad, but it, it's a good gun. Give it a shot. But uh, what I wanted to talk about in this quick little gameplay is uh, one. The reason I don't play a lot of the object, a lot of the objective, is because I was just playing a support role and I was trying to get my kill streaks up. Because I'm running the classic three five seven. So I was trying to do that, and as you see right there, it sort of pays off as I get the triple kill, and I'm pretty sure we get the bomb plant off. Uh, but things don't really go my go my way this game, as my teammates aren't able to capture the, I mean, uh, destroy the objective and plant the bomb. So um, it is what it is. I can't really do much about it. But I pick up a lot of kill streaks, get a lot of kills. Uh, anyway, what I wanted to talk to you about is I had an interesting little react um, interaction with Ken Burden on his server for Minecraft. Uh, I built, I was playing on a server, I got, I went through the whole process of getting a plot and getting build rights and whatnot, and basically, I built this giant torch. Like, and if, for those of you who play Minecraft, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's a torch, it was exactly proportionate, it was the highest possible height it could be, and it was giant, and I was really proud of it, and I worked on it for a long time, and I completely furnished the inside, and um, so I built this giant torch, and I was like, okay, I think I finished. I got, I've got, i gotten my, the opinion of many other people on the server, including some of the admins and some of the people with build right, who actually obtained builder status. And I was like, okay, I think this will get accepted. So uh, later, when, later when he was doing the big accepting event on that Saturday, uh, he, I was watching the stream at my friend's house, and... I noticed, I, I was like, oh yes, I'm so excited, he finally got to my building. And he sort of flies up, and flies down, looks at it, so one of the admins goes inside, but only one. And from right there, he says, no, I'm not accepting this. And that in itself was pretty devastating, but later, later, that, um, later that night when I logged back on, I found out that they just, they had actually cleared out that plot for someone else. And I was so frustrated at this point. It was because from what I saw, they all he did was look the outside. He didn't see most of what I built, which was on the inside. I felt sort of betrayed because he said he was going to have this big judging event, and all he did was stare at mine for a second and say he didn't like it. So that was that was pretty devastating. And uh, later I'll show you what I built. I'll post probably like a little montage of the pictures that I got. I didn't get to record a video because I didn't think it would get deleted, but. Um, it is what it is, and later I sent a particularly angry email to Ken, saying that how could you do this? All you did was look at the outside, uh, and I, I went on this, I wrote this long raging email about how I feel betrayed and you didn't do what, you didn't like serve me justice and you just sort of looked at the outside and put all the work that I put into that aside and sort of disregarded it. And I was raging. I yeah. And what the only, one thing that added to this was, I I was I tried to get over it, and I found a new plot. And basically, the rule is that if you find a plot with a sign and uh, no no building, you can take it. So I took it, and I started building something completely different. And the next day, I come back, and it's gone again. And someone else was building on it, and I just freaked out. I lost it. And I'm pretty sure from that I got banned, but I'm not sure. I'm still I'm still waiting on Ken to email me back about that. But I absolutely lost it, and it wasn't until Ken sent me the email where I realized what happened. And it's that a lot of people did like my building, and he was he did like it, but he felt I could do better. And um, he felt that despite the fact like he had seen it many times before because it was a pretty unusual thing because it was very tall and it was very unique. But he just felt that I could have done more to impress him, and that's been, um, why he judged it. So he told me to find a new plot, and I emailed—I mean, emailed him back saying that I think I've gotten banned because I was raging because I didn't entirely understand what was going on. So I'm still waiting to see if I get back on the server or not, and so if I can make a new building or not. 
when I do, I'll do something even greater than I did last time. But uh, that's just sort of my little experience with uh, Ken Burden and his server. But that's the end of the game. We lost, but I joined late and I get a really nice score in a little amount of time. I go 39 and 7, 0 plants and 0 defuses, but I get a lot of kills. I was just sort of playing a support role. Anyway, if you enjoyed the gameplay, comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my next commentary.